Pitbull. Maybe you know him as Mr. 305. Or maybe Mr. Worldwide. Maybe you know him only as the guy who says, Dolly! Dolly! Or as the dog from Ugly Dolls the Movie. But there's more to Pitbull than meets the eye. Armando Christian Perez was born in 1981 to a single mother. Women is what made me a man. I was raised by a single mother. Very strong women in my, in my life, so yes, I love it. <laughs> from the very beginning, he has had to fight to survive, frequently living under the poverty line and constantly moving. Pipple understands what it's like to be at the bottom. I'm sharp. What the street taught me how to do is how to hustle, how to make something out of nothing. Pipple. And I would say thank you to my mom. I love you so much. But more than, than giving me love, she gave me survival skills. She taught me how, no, no matter what, no problems, just solutions. So we always found a way to make it happen. But more importantly, since he has become internationally famous through his music career, he has never stopped giving back to the communities that made him the man he is today. I know that you started your own charter schools. Yes. Tell us about them. Well, as far as the charter school movement, we have it. It's called SLAM, which is sports leadership, arts, and management. You know, we, wow. we, we, we included the arts in it. And I what, love thank it. You so much. Amazing. And I, I just did it because these are the kids, you know, 92% of the kids in, in, in our school are on free lunch, kids that come from the neighborhood. Right. They come from DNF schools. Now they're a part of a high B school. It's going on to an A school. And this, this has all been done in three years. Got two graduating classes at 95% graduation wow. rate. And That's thank you. That is phenomenal. And we started one that they did the other day was data analytics. They, oh. were, they were doing data analytics. Yeah. And their homework, you know what it was? What? what? Fantasy football. Oh, oh because that yeah. is data. So, yeah. exactly. That is so smart. Yeah. So now they're engaged, they're excited, and what we did is we made education sexy, basically. Oh, that's very I know, I know we all heard the record before, uh, more money, more problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I call it more money, more solutions. Why? Because you're constantly helping other people's problems. Oh, you know I, I love yeah. that. That's so amazing. Pipple is not the safe candidate. He is high risk, high reward. But once he earns your trust, he will never lose it. A vote for Pitbull is a vote for what makes us American, our entrepreneurship. I just like to represent for the have-nots, the ones that take uh, nothing and make something out of it. So. Our multicultural identity. Well, I, I love one race and one race only, and that's the human race. Right. You know? And above all else, our humility. I also um, want to commend you on is for jumping into action uh, to help the victims of Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico. Well, I, I appreciated yeah. it so much pleasure. because I feel like our own president um, did not do that. But you even arranged to have your private plane transfer cancer patients from the island mm -hmm. to the U.S. mainland. This election, consider saying Dale. and voting Pitbull for president. I'm just curious, as a first-generation Cuban-American here, the son of Cuban refugees, what are your thoughts about the immigration crisis in this country? How do I feel about that? I mean, if we really do our history, um, <laughs> this is the truth, by the way. Mexico's not crossing the border. The border crossed Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> All right? If you have... If, if, if we're going to talk, you know, what it is, that's why you have a... a Cities like Los Angeles, mm -hmm. San Antonio, El Paso, Las Vegas, <laughs> eh, San Diego. I mean, those sounds like Spanish words to me, you know, yeah. or names, I would say. <laughs> it it yeah. goes to show you somebody was here before, you know. But yeah. either or, all I'm trying to tell you is this. Guys, we all bleed the same blood, we all breathe the same air, we all put yeah. our pants on one leg at a time. And when we start figuring that out is when we can really understand that we're really not that different. We're really more similar than we believe. I now, think me, you should run for president. No, I won't. <laughs>